The rusty chandelier in the Oklahoma City Stockyards has everything you could want, from vintage boots and custom cowboy hats to modern fashions and repurposed furniture. Owner Cindy Scardino took over the store for some friends about a year ago. They decided that, you know, buying junk was a lot more fun than selling it. And so um, I, I just, I loved it the first time I saw it. And so I said, okay, I'll be your girl. When you walk in the door, you'll see where the name comes from, a unique lighting piece decorated by Cindy. The name came from the rusty chandelier. In the next month, we'll have a new rusty chandelier. So uh, I've, got, I've got all the components, so I'm just anxious to put it together. There really is something here for everyone at the rusty chandelier. Well, one day I just, um, I saw it and I came down to look around and then the owner was just awesome. And so she became my friend and, and so now I come and see her all the time. Penny Johnson enjoys the variety she finds here. It's fun. It's just, I mean, I come here all the time and when I walk in I go, oh, is that new, Cindy? Like, did you just get that? I didn't see that last time. And she just always has a... Uh, nice stuff. You're going to find uh, vintage jewelry along with new trendy um, cowgirl type jewelry. Shirts and blouses and we do have um, ball caps and hat bands, fun stuff. You'll also find painted furniture, fun accent pieces and unique home decor. One of the neat things about the Rusty Chandelier is that you will find one-of-a-kind items from all over the country. Dick Parr is one of the pickers who finds treasures and brings them to the Rusty Chandelier to sell. We have a place in New Mexico, and so we go out there a lot. And of course, Oklahoma, Texas, New Mexico, Southern Colorado is, is rich horse history country. And of course, I just love to go see. Dick finds vintage pieces like this door off of a 1938 truck and brings them to the Rusty Chandelier. He also collects vintage saddles and cowboy memorabilia. All of these saddles that are right around here are saddles that I've collected over the last 40 or 50 years that were made here in the stockyards. It's a neat combination of, of things for everyone. If you've got a cowboy husband, he can look at the at the saddles or the vintage boots or whatever. For the cowgirl, uh, Cindy has incorporated a lot of b neat boutique things like you talked about earlier, you know, shirts and scarves and things that she can accessorize herself with. So there's really something for everybody when they come here. People won't find this kind of stuff everywhere they go. Um, it's pretty unique.